Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to cover the yawning symptom. This is a very interesting symptom because it's the first warning, particularly in my case, that a crash is coming. And it's kind of like the warning symptom. We're gonna try today to explain uh, what yawning is, why we yawn, what we can do, and how does it relate to CFS and the implication within the CFS umbrella. I like to do these videos and research and have it based on science. It's getting very challenging because there's not a lot of literature out there of the symptoms of CFS. So we have to see the studies on other diseases and maybe diseases that are similar to CFS and how it relates to CFS. So some of it is one, uh, some of my interpretation because there's absolutely nothing out there for CFS and yawning yet is a symptom that is so common between us. When I go to the CFS specialist and I see the patients for CFS, you can tell them, um, one, because of the drainage of the color of the face, and the second thing is the yawning, and you can tell them. It's like CFS patient, CFS patient, maybe that one, <laughs> and the yawning gives them away every single time. So let's start by explaining what yawning is it says that yawning can be caused uh, because of tiredness drowsiness or fatigue it can be caused by some sleep disorder like sleep apnea and narcolepsy it can also be a side effect of accessories and some bleeding of the heart disorders there's some common less causes brain tumor heart attack epilepsy multiple sclerosis liver failure and uh, the body inability to control its temperature. Uh, I saw a study where it can be actually a biomarker for brain disease. So um, there's two theories out there that about yawning. One, it can be a vasovagal reaction. And the other theory is that um, there was a study in rats that when you yawn, it's the natural way of the body of cooling off the brain. So it's like your yawning is the fan of the brain and your cooling system. And that was a study published in the International Ur Journal of Applied and Basic Medical Research. So another um, uh, theory, it's so funny because when I was researching, I found uh, Dr. Kamarov explaining this and he's not, it wasn't CFS related, it was just a Harvard uh, video. And he was saying that the air lung has really tiny air pockets and if the lung don't expand, much and they need to expand to let those tiny things open. May, uh, your brain makes you yawn to, uh, but you know, it forces you by taking deep breath. I hear another theory that is consciousness level. I'm not gonna get into that because I don't believe in that kind of stuff. But if you're interested, you can research it. But apparently, it means some consciousness, like if you're in. In what level of consciousness you're on. I don't understand any about that, so I'm not going to cover it in this video. But anyways, um, let's do it in the CFS umbrella and let's discuss it in that. So in my case, I have noticed that I start yawning when my when my I've been standing for a long time. So I, for me, it's more orthostatic and it's a sign that I have to uh, put my feet up and rest. Uh, from the orthostatic um, position that I am on. Funny thing is, I do have crashes that do not involve yawning. So it's interesting to see that some uh, times I can stand and be very orthostatic and the yawning starts versus other times that I am fatigued but no yawning. So um, what can we do? One is to make sure to sit down and put your feet up. And another thing you can do is, you know, if the theory of the uh, hot brain is truth, you can put a cold compress on your neck or, a, um, you know, it doesn't have to be complicated. Even if you have a piece bag in the freezer, you can put it on top or any frozen corn or whatever grainy vegetable frozen you have. 
you can put it in your brain and that will help cool it off faster. The one thing you cannot do is to force your way through it. By the time you're yawning, you are damaging yourself and we have to avoid damage. Remember, we have to avoid crash and we have to avoid damage. So try those little strategies um, of cooling your brain off or changing orthostatic position and see if that helps. And if you wanna speed up the process, uh, cooling your brain and, and try that. Um, other thing is if you think it's orthostatic and you are um, breathing shallow, um, in a good in a sense is a good way because usually if you're having the yawning and the breathing shallow it probably is your heart rate going up you it, we have told you how to measure that um, again I'm not a doctor this is my personal observation please discuss with your doctor if you have any questions or if you want to get the symptom and know why and to know what to do about it this is just my personal observation and what I have learned with this disease. Another thing uh, you can, tr you know, it's kind of if it's orthostatic and, and you need to switch from parasympathetic to, wait, sympathetic to parasympathetic, then you can do breathing exercises of those that will uh, force you to switch. Um, and we, uh, we will do a separate video on breathing exercises that will help you or things that will help you. Believe it or not, like rocking helps you to switch. Rocking yourself, um, there's some tapping things, there's some breathing exercises, anything that you can do to switch so your vasovagal your vagal reaction comes down. Um, if you have any strategies for the yawning and you know a very quick way, to stop it and you have a remedy that we haven't discussed here, can you please post it down below so we keep it and we share it between us. So thank you so much for, for watching. I hope this video is helpful. If you haven't, please subscribe and rest well.